What's up y'all, AJ Simmons, founder of the Clean Biz Network here. And in this video, I just wanted to react to a formal video that I put out back in, uh, what is this, 2019? And it's talking about the biggest mistake that business owners make. So I just wanna go ahead and react to this video. I haven't watched it here recently yet, so I don't even know what it's about to talk about. But I wanna watch it and see if I have any, you know, changes of heart today or if anything that I could correct or expound upon and that we can build upon it from there. So let's go ahead and click this play button and check it out, all right? Headed to the top, they ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids, own property. Bubble eye beans, it look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred though. Cause that's all it takes. Oh, I'm flashing for. I'm on my grind, not no more fashion show. What's up, y'all? AJ Simmons checking in. Look. You know the biggest mistake I see people make, not only in this cleaning industry, but really in business in general, is this, man. They don't lock in. You do not lock in, man. A lot of people look at the cleaning industry in particular as just like a hustle. You know what I mean? We look at it as if it's just a, a means to another end. When in reality, a cleaning company can really be your end-all, be-all if you just lock in on it. And I'm not telling you that you need to make it that because I understand everybody got their own goals and aspirations. But I want you to consider something for a minute. Like think about what is it that you really want. A lot of us really just want freedom. We want passive income. We want wealth. We want, you know what I mean, those types of things. And when you really think about it, what can give you that? A cleaning company. Okay, your cleaning company, if you already have a cleaning company, why not lock in on that? Create your system. Grow and make it as passive as possible and you have your wealth you have your passive income you have yeah huge point there because and not just a cleaning company but any company really like if you think about it we all be chasing the shiny objects right we always trying to find that next best thing that has the good money in it right but if you really think about it if you already own a company right and if it's scalable like a cleaning company is scalable where you can literally make it as big as you want to make it you can get as many customers you want to get and you can hire as many people as you want to hire and put systems in place so that you don't have to physically do anything like a lot of times we think we can only get passive income from real estate but it's like actually your company your service business your product based business whatever it is your own business can do that if you just stop chasing so many different things just lock in on this one thing so fact so far let's see what else we're talking about your freedom when you don't have to when you already delegated all the tasks out like think about it I was like, we were going over this with, with I, I, I go over this with a couple of different people actually on a couple of different scenarios. But really, when you think about it, like, what does an executive do for a company? No matter what the industry is, no matter what the company is, no matter what the niche is, the bottom line is an executive is not doing physical labor. Okay, so whether you do this with a cleaning company, whether you do this with an internet based company, whether you do this with a trucking company, whether you do it with real estate, regardless of which path you choose if you build up and you become an executive then you do executive type you know executive level task okay so if you don't want to clean toilets for the rest of your life and that's why you only using this as a hustle so you can invest in something else well just look at this the thing that you the, the something else that you're looking in to get into a lot of times you go have to work your way up in that so it's like if you already got your start in cleaning then why not just build this up make it pass but then you don't have to worry about it anymore you just keep listen nothing but facts dog like a lot of times we said we're going to use the cleaning company as our as our starting point so we can invest in other things most of the time the other things is real estate right which is cool real estate is great but i just want to really like make sure that we understand like what are you really aiming for because really most of the time all we really want is passive income we just want our time right but it's like really your business can already provide you with that thing you don't have to use the cleaning business to get you to real estate because you think that real estate is what's going to get you the passive income the cleaning business can be the passive income man. <laughs> like you really can you know what i mean you really can scale it and just get what you want out of this like stop thinking that it's the real estate you want when in reality it's the time that you want you know what i mean it's, it's the passive income that you want it's the asset that you want right it's, it's the thing that the real estate can give you and if you really look at it your company that you already have probably can get you the same thing. And again, I'm not saying don't buy real estate. Definitely get your real estate later if you want to. But don't think that that's the end all be all. Your cleaning company can probably provide you with everything. Because think about this. Like I always talk about how 
you know, I have two properties, and then every year I'd be like, I'm going to buy another one this year, I'm going to buy another one this year. But I never get around to it because it's just so much more money in my business. You know what I mean? I can reinvest in my business and make an extra thousand or an extra two thousand, extra however many thousands from my business versus if I invest into a property, you know, if I get one door, two doors, anything, you know, one to four doors, well, it's going to give me an extra 500 to maybe a thousand dollars a month passive. And it's like, man, and you got to worry about a water heater breaking. You got to worry about foundation issues, all this type of stuff, right. That comes with the real estate. And it's like, in reality, my company, if I just go get another cleaning contract, if you got a cleaning company, another cleaning contract, that, that might pay you two grand a month, right? That might pay you a thousand a month. You know, it's going to pay you probably more than what the, the, the property would pay you every single month passively. And you don't have to worry about no toilet, <laughs> you know what I mean? No, no toilet bowl leaks and, and, and no water heater uh, repairs and no roof repairs and all of this type of stuff. Tenants not paying, all type of stuff, right? So that's why I always like really like to really hammer home. Just build your business up, man. I promise you it'll pay you, all right? But anyway, I'm probably over talking. Let me let this video play. Keep growing it at that point. Customer acquisition, employee retention is all you got to worry about. And recruitment, employee recruitment. That's it. You know what I mean? It's like, but a lot of times we always think we get that shiny object syndrome. We always think that, you know, the grass is green on the other side. We always think that there's something more out there for us. We always think that we want this, the, the sexy business because it's not sexy to say when somebody say, oh, what, what, what kind of business you have? And you say a cleaning company. It's not It's not as, you know what I mean? It ain't got that, that glare to it. But if you're doing 11 million a year, who cares? You know what I mean? I just posted a post on my Instagram where it showed a guy that was uh, interviewed on CNBC. And he built his company to an $11 million per year company. Just cleaning. Just clean. He didn't even add extra services. All his company does is cleaning. That's it. And actually, I believe his company was actually a house cleaning company. So, And that's even harder to grow. So if you do commercial cleaning with these bigger contracts, you know, sky's the limit. You know what I mean? If you, look, if you do an industry outlook and if you go research... And look up some of the biggest companies in this industry. You'll see the the ABMs and the uh, and the ISS and all of those different companies, man. They way up there. I'm talking about billion dollar companies, and you can do that. Obviously, you can't do it today or tomorrow, but over time, you can build. All you need is about a quarter quarter uh, quarter million dollars in revenue to get completely out the field. And really, if you do like I tell you to do, if you if you lucky enough to keep your day job build this business on the side then when it builds up and it makes enough passive for you to quit that job if you follow that blueprint that i try to give out then you can never really have to do physical labor like here and there obviously you might have to pitch in you might have to show some people for the most part or you might have to cover when your workers don't come in but for the most part really there's a way to scale this business up to never do the physical part of it so you don't even have to wait till you at that quarter million dollar level for real but Usually, once you hit that quarter million dollar level, there's enough revenue coming in where you can kind of really have it scaled. And then from there, all you're doing is customer acquisition. Yeah, because and like like I was saying, like you really don't even have to hit the quarter uh, million dollar a year level because think about it. Really, if you just get one contract that pay you $1,000 a month, you pay somebody else 60%, that's $600, right? Pay somebody else $600 a month to do it, you still left with $400 a month passive. And you can go get 10 more of those. Now you're making $4,000 a month passive. You're not cleaning anything. And you're making this passive income. You go get 100 more of those, right? That's how big companies become big companies. Because they get a lot of these contracts like this and just don't clean them. They put systems in place to handle the physical labor of the, of the, of the service, right? To handle the actual execution of the job. And they focus on growing the business. That is it. They focus on customer acquisition while somebody else handles the actual service part of it. And that's how you get to that big business level. You don't have to make it to that quarter million dollar a year level, actually. Employee recruit, recruitment, that's it. All you're trying to do is grow your revenue and then grow the staff so you can have somebody to cover all those new customers. That's it. And so that's that's the level that you want to get at. You want to get to the point where all you're doing is you're tweaking systems. You're trying to figure out more efficient ways to clean, better cleaning systems. You're trying to figure out uh, you know, run your numbers, re re review, okay, where do we get complaints at the most? Why are we getting those complaints? Those are the type of executive executive level tasks that, that you want to be doing. Like, those are the things that I do most of the time, day in and day out, is I'm reviewing um, 
employee performance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Creating spreadsheets, looking at charts, looking at the finances. You know what I mean? Those types of things. Trying to improve systems, creating new systems. And that's another thing, too. Like, people also, every time that you do something new in your company, you have to track it. That's what the key to creating a system that a lot of people miss is tracking. Okay? So, let's just say y'all got a new way of... Uh, I just want to say this too. I was saying like now what I do in my business is creating spreadsheets and tracking my employees' progress and stuff like that, which I still do today. But what I just learned from listening to another uh, entrepreneur who's at a higher level than me, he was talking about how you shouldn't even be making spreadsheets. You should have somebody that does that. Like you should be above that. And I'm going to tell you something. The more you create more layers and layers and layers between you and the work, the more work you'll figure out and ways to build on your business. That's what that's what we mean by work on your business. Like you, you'll find even more ways to level up because you're gonna have you gotta do something. You're gonna always find something to do naturally as an entrepreneur, as a go getter. You're gonna find ways that you can improve. So it's about continuous improvement and then how you can just be better. You know what I mean? Like well, same thing, but how you continuously improve, but also like how you can grow as a business. You know what I mean? And so you're gonna always find ways to grow. So once I put somebody in place for creating my spreadsheets, now all I gotta do is review them, which frees up my time from creating spreadsheets. And now I'll go find something else even better to do to make my company that much better. Um I don't know, hire when you train your people. If you don't write it down, it's not a system. You got to write it down and, or type it up is what I mean. You got to document it, okay? You need to have something in place so that way if you're not here, you can bring another person in. They can read that manual, that that step-by-step -step guide and know exactly how to help this person and exactly how to train just as if how you would have trained if you would have. You see what right. I'm All right, so just to break that down in case it went over your head. When you create your systems, like one example, like I was saying right there was write it down. So if you have a way that like when you hire somebody, right, and they come in and if you have, okay, on day one, they clean a little bit and I train them on this. I sh they shadow me. Uh, they did blah, blah, blah. Type that up real quick because now that's a, that's a training manual now. Just type up what you did or record yourself. Have somebody recording you clean. Now that's systemizing it because if you clean a particular building in a particular way, if you record yourself doing it that way, that's now a training video and that's part of you creating a system, a training program for your new workers, right? That right there, as simple as that is, is that's part of creating your system. I'm saying that's the key to systems is documenting every single thing. Every single time a new change is implemented, you need to document and show, okay, what the change is, why you did it, how was it effective and all of that. You know what I mean? So but back to the point of this video though i'm getting sidetracked a little bit thinking about the system stuff but the bottom line is man a lot of the like be truthful with yourself because that's what i had to do i had to be truthful with myself and i said okay what do you really want all right look man i just want to own something i need to own some equity i want my freedom i don't have to get up and report to a job every morning you know what i mean i want some money obviously we want to make some money because that's what that's what the freedom comes from is from making the money you know what i mean and that's it you want that equity you want the freedom you want the money you want the wealth that you can pass on to your kids. Your cleaning company can give you all of that. And it doesn't require you to have no good credit score. You ain't got to go ask for nobody for no loan. You know I mean, it's a very small startup cost, but an extremely high upside. Like, I mean, sky's the limit with this stuff, man. So I wanted to point this out not to convince you to only focus on your cleaning company. You can focus on whatever you want to. Plenty of people do plenty of things. I did plenty of things. You know what I mean? But my point is, a lot of times... Like you get it, you get out what you put into it. You get out what you put into it. So it's like a lot of times we're putting only you know twenty five, thirty percent effort into this thing, and then wonder why it's not growing faster, or wonder why uh, we only get thirty percent out of it. And it's like but that's listen. I probably should let me finish my statement, but dog, like a lot of us, we have cleaning companies, but we also do notary public on the side, and we and, and you do some hair care too, right? Well, if you look at it all, and let's say you made twenty from one business, twenty grand from one business last year, uh, five grand, and then eight hundred from those three different businesses, don't you think that you probably should let those two other two go and just focus on the one that did twenty grand, and then the energy that you were spending into those other two side businesses that weren't even making a whole bunch of money, if you just put that into that main one, imagine how much further that would have went if you just gave it more energy. Because remember, you getting out what you put into it. All right. So put at put just go all in on one, like Mark Zuckerberg did, like Elon did. 
You know what I mean? Like 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 Bill Gates did. Like all of the greats do. They go all in on one business, not a bunch of them. Like like Tyler Perry did, right? That's all you putting into it. And then you over here focusing on all these other little gigs. Pick this one thing. I'm talking about when we small too, man. If you ain't doing real money, you know what I mean? If you ain't doing like half a million in revenue, why are you doing so many other things for? Them? Lock in. If your cleaning company already got a few customers, get some more. Grow it. Stop right there, dog. If you, I said, if you ain't already doing at least half a million in one business, why are you running and opening up other businesses like you can afford to open other businesses if you ain't even doing half a million in the first one yet? You know what I mean? Like if you do, okay, because some of y'all are like, well, there's other people that got multiple businesses and they successful, right? Uh, 50 Cent do this and this and that, right? Rick Ross, he got multiple businesses. Why are you saying only do one? You can have more than one business. Yeah, but think about this though. It, look how much money they're making and bringing in. Until you get at least a half a million coming in that one business, you shouldn't even be looking at nothing else. And really, I'm probably undershooting it. You probably should at least do a million in one business before you go to something else. You know what I mean? It just costs too much to run a business. It takes too much attention. I mean, you got to have a bookkeeper for each business. You got to have an LLC for each business. You got to have multiple bank accounts for each business. There's so many different things. Payroll, employees, marketing, your attention itself, dog. <laughs> like, because whatever you pay attention to is what's going to pay you straight up. And so if you ain't making enough from that first business, don't even look at nothing else. All right? Lock in on it. No, I mean, ain't, ain't nothing like when you can create jobs for your people. I mean, especially if, like, if you're from a... Uh, a community like I'm from where, you know, it's, the opportunity is scarce. You know what I mean? Like, it's nothing like being that person that, that's in a position where you can start hiring people and, sh and you know what I mean, putting them to work with decent pay. You know what I mean? Or being that person that owns a successful company and you can help teach other people how they can own their own successful company. Because it, the, the information, it translates regardless, regardless of the niche. Maybe they don't want to own a cleaning company, but they want to start a different company. You having that knowledge, if you build it yourself first... You could teach other people how to do it too for their company. You know what I mean? But it's like you can't help anybody only putting half ass effort into it. You can't help anybody by not being successful. You can't help anybody if you don't have any resources or enough money. You can't make a big impact if you don't have big resources, okay? The best way to have a big resources is to build a big business, okay? So that's my that's my, my tip of the day is the biggest mistake that most people make is they simply don't lock in. Lock in, man. Like, really get committed to this stuff. If you don't know how to do something, research. We all have access to Google. We all have access to Google, man. Like, that's my number one, like, my best friend. That's my mentor is Google, YouTube. And I search and search and search, and I trash it and trash it, experiment, experiment until I figure out what I need to know. You know what I mean? And it's like... And for the record, it would go even faster. Google and YouTube is this, though, and... Definitely, by all means, do that. Use it. But if you do have a way where you can find somebody that you can learn from that's doing it already, what you're trying to do, that'll make it even faster, too, in addition to YouTube and Google. Like, don't get so caught up on, you know, trying to, to reinvent the wheel when this wheel is already here and rolling. We got billion-dollar companies in this industry. Why not build yours to that level? Or even to a couple, couple million, a hundred million. Whatever you want to build it up to, but why not lock in on what you already have? A lot of times we think that the riches is everywhere else, when in reality we already got what we need now. We just got to water that seed and let it grow into a tree. That's it. The same gripes that you got with your cleaning company with these nagging ass customers, same gripes that you got with the cleaning company when it's hard to keep these employees, I got those same gripes now with my lead generation service. You know what I mean? With my, my drop shipping company, all all of those services that I provide in Clean Business Network, I got the same damn headaches and gripes that I had with my cleaning company simply because business is business. Yeah. I was listening to that and I'm thinking like the best way to put this, like the best analogy I can give you is it's like if you plant a tree, right? You plant an orange tree and that thing start to grow and become about the size of a bush, right? And you get excited and say, oh my God, it's actually growing. I'm about to snatch this orange off this tree and I'm going to go sell it so I can go invest in some seeds for an apple tree. And then I'm going to plant an apple tree. But you never planted an apple tree before a day in your life. You don't even know it's going to grow the same. But you already got this orange tree. Instead of taking the orange and selling it to invest in an apple tree, why not get whatever you did to put that, build that orange tree to that big? Why not reinvest into that same orange tree and make it a bigger tree? 
Why are you going over there trying to plan a whole new thing that you ain't even know how to do yet? And you don't know if it's going to work or not. You wasting the money from the orange that you just had. You could have kept kept that orange, ate it, and kept growing that same orange tree, right? So that hopefully that analogy helped that make more sense. But anyway, so pick one, lock in on it, let it get you rich, and then you go do all the other shit that you want to do. Go Then go follow your passion. But if you like me, your passion is just business in general anyway. You're passionate about building a business. So lock in. Let's get it. Thank y'all for listening. If you listen to it on the podcast, shout out to you. Yeah, man. Don't, like, don't let that follow your passion shit throw you off either, man. Like, at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure most of y'all are probably like me. Ain't no follow your passion, dog. Follow the bag. <laughs> follow the bag, dog. Like, get the money, and then you worry about the passion once you got the money to do whatever the fuck you're passionate about. But I'm telling you this. If you start a company and start making some money, you see how passionate you get about that motherfucker. When you see the money coming in for real, oh, you can get passionate about that thing real quick. You know what I mean? We worry about the real, like the the, the artsy stuff. The the the. You know what I mean, that type of shit. We worry about that later. You know what I mean? But for now, focus on the bad. Focus on building that business, systemizing it, and getting your time freedom back, your financial freedom, so you can get your time freedom. Then once you got your time freedom, you do whatever you want in this world, man. I'm AJ Simmons, founder of the Clean Biz Network, and if you haven't started a company already. Consider starting a cleaning company because it's a low-cost investment with high upside, and it'll get you your time freedom if you do it the way I tell you to do it. Go to cleanbiznetwork.com. Check out what we got to offer for y'all. I'm out of here. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. And make sure you hit that like button if you liked the video, because I know you did. And also hit subscribe. And right beside that subscribe button is going to be a notification bell. You got to click that, because guess what? You never know when I'm going to go live. As a matter of fact, I might go live right now. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss my videos, all right? And if you want to start or grow your business, check out cleanbiznetwork.com, all right? We have cleaning business starter kits. We have a lead generation service to help you grow your cleaning business, all type of stuff. And also, don't forget to download the Calculated Clean mobile app as well, all right? So that's what I got for y'all until you click another video and go watch, man. Watch another video. Why not? Binge on it. Let's go.